my finest work. Ah! These next couple of fights work. Uh, how does Froke get smoking? I don't think he's ready for Chuan to hit him like that. That's fine. He, he's gonna bait anyways. <laughs> oh, that observer, what they see, everything move. The fresh blink dagger into the Nova and a perfect storm. Miracle, no telecord. He the saved relocate him. out. He got him in time. Miracle got sent all the way back home. No tell will still trigger. They can fight that was this the Aegis. Aegis Immortal. But you burn your raw already. Fly comes in. He's got swap available. No tell instant cast over on the Kaka as well as how. And how? Well, there is no Shadow Dance. Moon wants to get back and reach the T1 tower, but now Miracle Dream Call. They have to stand. They have to fight, Newbie, but Chuan is down. The wall is up as well from KP, trying to zone OG out of this engagement. And KP, the Gus is going to hit him. The balls are on his tail, but KP will have to surge himself away. He can't actually save Moon, not when the Cold Arrows are continuously hitting, and they actually bring down the Tide Hunter. How's they got him. Fight, but he's gone as well. Newbie losing everything. Oh my it's god. It's a kill for Nurtail. Newbie, they tried to get out, they thought maybe it was a good idea to stay, and it definitely was not. That was such a clutch fight, Crit absolutely saved everything, he pulls out Puck, keeps Puck alive, where Puck was almost guaranteed dead, definitely gonna die without the relocate, and then the Aegis on the drought, that was the other person that was left over, it bought him enough time as yep. well to, for the relocate to return, so it was a straight up 5v5 fight instead of a 3v5 until the relocate returned, and then somehow drought just killed everybody. This is so huge now, because also no tell, that Dragonlance I was talking about, this is the kind of early stuff you'd love to do with it lets you go high ground against tier 3 they, towers oh without God. actually going high ground. The damage is ridiculous and they're going to keep it up. They Here comes to. the Phoenix, Makaka, easily gushed. Moon wants to jump in too. They've at least locked him inside inside the pen with the rolls on KP. KP's going down. OG, they're inside the base. No Tail's doing more work. He'll end up dying. Crit can't keep him alive. So they've lost throw. They've lost their buff up. Fly, the Dream Call will trigger. How, however, stunned up. He's going to go down. Drove by his back. Up. He's almost asking for more and more. But they actually wisp relocate. Do they want to bring him in? He's relocating forward, going for Chorn. Notes to who cast will ever hold him. They go for the racks. They're going to finish this. Moon inside the sun ray. Oh, jump from Miracle. Taka. He cancels it off. Chorn's here, but the Nova. He'll trigger just in the nick of time. Chorn, he can't survive. The top rack is gone. We're 16 minutes in. Oh. Nubia are forced to use multiple buybacks to defend inside their base. And still, OG get out. They killed Phoenix. Dude, the creeps killed Phoenix. Then. Yeah, that the just happened. it was the Necros who were in there too. Oh, and he used Sunray as well, so he's lowering his own HP. Yeah. What just happened? Oh, like the game looked topsy turvy, but all of a sudden, when that Necro respawned, they had the DPS to blow up the tide, and now they're just going all in on super early efficiency items. Fly's been able to pick up a drum. Only one drum. This is the way to do it, teams. <laughs> one drum. One Dragon Lance, Vlad's now on Beastmaster with all of these auras. Their power curve hit, they got a Rax, and it just makes the game so much easier. And now Newbie's looking at this like, all right, we have to win the next fight. If we do not win the next fight and we get two racks by like 25 minutes, the game ends. There's no way to come back at that point. They had 16,000 worth of network. We just brought it up and the experience is up so high. OG are rolling in the tower. They've got everything they want. A puck with a Yule Scepter. So even if you think you've got the initiation, yep. you don't really have it. I was actually worried for Moon when that fight happened up on top lane when Newbie seemed to get the slightly better trend. I'm like, ah, oh, here it's going to come now. He's not going to get the bling dagger. There's no, no, no yep. initiation. The Necro's going to be slowed up. Instead, Moon actually also realizes that the uh, the pace of this game, he goes Blaz. He gets Necro 3. He doesn't need the blink dagger. He doesn't. They, they can just slow push it. All of their heroes are hard to kill. But as long as Crit and Venge sit back, they're, they're fine. And yeah, they're not as much about heals, but they're about team fight saves, which is why this draft is so beautiful. Because if they had heals, they can't necessarily survive things like Sunray Ravage and Static Storm. <laughs> Sorry, it's just something really, really cute. But Notel's using Courier to find Vision to farm a camp on the other side, so he doesn't have to back up and walk all the way around. <laughs> Sorry, it's pretty efficient. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it was fully efficient, however. It's still, it's still totally cool. And now they're going to go do the push. 2,800 gold on Drow Ranger. Um, next item, probably... Uh, I think he just goes BKB just to be super safe. Because this way, if Tide blinks in, BKB's popped, he's fine. But with the Venge and the Io, if they just use those heroes to limit the effectiveness of those teamfight ultimates, Newbie's draft is completely countered. Okay. Heals wouldn't be able to do it, though. 
OG are coming. They're hoping that Noobie will defend the tier two tower on bot lane. Uh, or have someone just slightly walk out, a little bit out of position. They saw Kaka for a very short Life's moment, and this. with the Hawk up, they see everything. They see they There's no defensive desire, uh, a die ward up. So Mu surging out the raw, it's over on Chuan. Necrobox as well, this means there's no storm for the fight. Chuan's almost dying, in fact, just the solo Necrobox with the Hawk up. Are they gonna chase it even further? How has to trigger up his Shadow Dance. So the initiation Ugh. comes, they don't find a kill, but it means that Newbie's defense of the tier 2 tower will be in vain. This um, is a tier 2 tower to OG, as well as uh, uh, Roshan's still dead. I, I don't know if they can take this here. Like, they needed to get a kill with their initiation, and Puck did not follow up on Moon going in, because if he did, they just stat up Storm two heroes with the Ravage, and they could easily win the fight. So, mm. he forced some stuff, they lost the melee Necro, they, they delayed the Disruptor, but if the Creep Wave wasn't in position, and the draw wasn't hitting the tower the whole time. So, that's basically how things go. They force him back, but they don't get advantage, and they've got to wait until their ultimates and the Necro are back up before they can fight again. Well, that won't be long. Necro is up in 43 seconds. Uh, there's a Mithril Hammer on Puck. BKB, Deso? Deso would be pretty good on one hero. I would actually like to see that. BKB's a little safer. Um, no Tails <laughs> close to his. 400 gold away for him. Uh, I'm just waiting for the Maelstrom. Uh, oh yeah, it could be Maelstrom, I guess. And, and anything to push, a little bit more attack speed to work with. It's not terrible, it would also help counter what Newbie's builds are going to be, which is most likely going to be damage block and armor. And, unless they're just like, you know, let's just get double BKBs and we null the effect of Mu on the two major cores. Yeah, it's really up up to two ways. Does, he, does Miracle want to amplify the damage that his team is doing in terms of right clicks? Or does he want to cut through his opponent's defenses, defensive reactions, basically? Oh, okay. And more attack speed as well, good against Egg. It was a good thing. Well, there's our answer. It's a BKB. Okay. He finds the recipe for the BKB. And I will also like purchase it. up the gem. They realize that Slark has a Shadow Blade, so they have to be careful about uh, how actually getting the jump on the OG. Yep, and, but Newbie still doesn't feel safe being separate, basically, because if any of their heroes die right now, it's so early in the game that, that saving for buyback is just futile, because it's not going to get you back in the game. Unless it's like Tide dies right at the start without Ravaging, he buys back and gets a great Ravage, so... The problem you have with that is OG just then becomes so much more efficient across the map, they find farm absolutely everywhere they want to go, and there's no real risk to it either, because even if you do find like one hero slightly out of position, Crick could either relocate him out or relocate friends in. That's true. So they keep Venge as well as uh, the IO semi together. That'll protect No Tail. Puck can be fine to farm just about anywhere on the map since he can always just orb and uh, or Yules and blink stuff like that. And he said 14 now, so he's got four in phase shift. A very crucial level here. Newbie's gonna have so much trouble killing him for the rest of the game. Well, the time is up. Everyone's almost ready to go unless Moon wants to take a little bit more time to pick up that blink dagger of his. Uh, Moon? <laughs> <laughs> He's messing with them. <laughs> he, he really is. It's hilarious good. thing that's actually a, a two-man team. That's, that's a drove <laughs> that's, do, that's doing that too. It's good to scout with that actually. It's, it honestly is because they're always going to know where their opponents are. <laughs> One little neutral creep. It's definitely the the most least used thing about um, Helm of the Dominator, at least in the past, was that carries would basically just use that to stack agents. Not to scout, not to team fight, not to use the ability. But it does all of those things. Uh, Roshan is respawned, by the way, so very likely that OG is going to want to push out lanes, do a smoke, take a fight. Yeah. At least waste the team fight ultimates and then take Roshan, or get kills and take Roshan. Yeah. Obviously, you don't want to take Roshan first, because if you give Newbie any chance to come back into this game, Roshan would probably be hit. Like a team with a whole bunch of AoE abilities, and you put yourself in a costed area. Well, here's the next problem that I keep forgetting about. They already got Raxed, so... This early on in the game, they have to go back to the creep wave, and they're getting less experience from this wave, and they're getting less gold as well. It's just very difficult for a newbie right now. They're going to be able to deal with the high ground as well. Here they come. So good luck, newbie, finding the right initiation. The, the Hulk and the Boar are already in a position where they can't come down unless they're smart dump. And it's such a good thing to have on Radiant too, because normally Dyer has so much advantage over Roche. You have to run up a hill to go to the place where Newbie's probably sitting. Now they can generally always see where they are. They sun right into the, the Roche pit. They could fight now. This is a good time. Oh, but look at RG. Oh, there's a good time to fight. They're gonna fight Man Smoke through the bottom lane and try and wrap around the back. That's their aggressive scan. Looking to see if Newbie is still posturing there. They found him. They know where they are. They know how to take the fight. Do they still want to fight it though? 
They, they do definitely. Oh, Chod, he loves this ward. He put it down again. It doesn't break the smoke just yet, however. They're still too close. Chuan gets jumped on. There it is again. Moon, the primary target that disrupts. There's no storm again for this fight. Miracle, he'll also go in with a BKB. He's protecting in Kaka. No one has no idea what to do. Moon also, he trigger off the Ravage, but the Nova will be dropped at the same time. Then Nova will not complete. Miracle is a double kill. Moon will drop as well. This game looks like it's practically over. Yeah, they can just go mid right now. There's no buybacks on Newbie. They could take Roche, but why do that when you can get a second Rax at 24 minutes? This Drow strat is completely paying off. They all have BKBs, they have auras. They picked off one of the crucial teamfight elements right at the start, which yep. was the Silence. And without Static Storm, Ravage is not enough damage. It's really just set up for the Disruptor. Does, does OG actually go for the GG now? The Tier 2 tower is still up on the bottom no lane, so they can't force the Megas, but Ravage is down. Uh, they so you go don't back. have that big ability. They, Ravage is down, they got the racks. take Aegis for free. Absolute free Roche, and that's Aegis. You wait till your ultimates are back up, and the Necro 3, and you just go straight bottom. I don't even know. Uh, they could still lose. Okay, we've yeah. seen a lot of crazy it's possible. teams dying going to high ground today. Get a pipe on OG, then they're absolutely set. No way they lose at that point. Uh, look at the extra damage. Okay, everyone has a bonus 64 damage if you're a range hero. Because Norotel also just picked up an Eagle Song. He'll hold the Aegis to the Immortal. They keep their auras alive, and they will line up for bottom lane. And One last push for OG to go into the winner's bracket final. And something pretty unexpected, really. I mean, if Newbie loses zero games up until this point, a lot of people expected that they were going to win today. I know the bets were like that, but yep. OG, one of the most disciplined teams, they're very, very efficient at five manning, and efficiency is, is one way that you actually have to beat um, a team like Newbie, because they get so much done. Oh, here they come for the tier two. That's so low, there's no way Newbie come out to defend it. They also have no fortification here, Newbie, so they can't play around the glyph. They don't even have Ravage yet. 45 seconds left for that one. And they're TPing in. Beastmaster's on the way. Boots of travel for him. And with the blink of the Necro books back up. I'm wondering if they can catch Sean again. Well, that's the ideal. He's definitely the most important teamfight hero. I mean, Ravage is going to get off no matter what. Um, Killian Phoenix would also be great too, they could do that. He's got a Ghost Scepter though, that would buy him some time. It's still funny though, because it's, it's not really as powerful, like Chorn isn't really as powerful as those BKBs are there. So yep. it's, uh, he's, he's fantastic to pick off, and you can't say why he's initiated him there to jump on the Kaka. Ooh, just so I'm actually wondering like, if it's even better to take out Phoenix. Phoenix would be really good also, definitely. Tide Ravage in one second. All right, they're ready to fight. Will Newbie go in? Uh, no they're tell. hitting the building. Yep. Make the most out of that Dragon Lance. Well, they do have some heals. Uh, Crit's got two urns and two bottles and a wand, so trading his health a little bit here is completely worth it. Meanwhile, the top lane in the mid lane continue to pressure in. Another BKB is up for fly. <laughs> A 309 support VS, who's currently dishing out about 250 damage. God, that's so ridiculous. And they're trying to keep the Phoenix slow. Miracle keeps poking at him. And that's because it gives him a better shot of just bursting him down in the later fight. Ah, uh, this chip to victory. No Tail will outrun the Sunray. So that's a problem with No Tail in the drought here. He's winning, so he has too much HP. So Sunray does more damage. <laughs> I don't want to see that as a bad point for a drow. <laughs> She just keeps chipping away at this building as well. All right, this is basically their last chance. If this tower goes down, they have, they have to jump. It. They have to jump. House, house ready. He jumps. He finds No Tail. Remember, there's your BKB. Aegis Immortal is still available for No Tail, but How at least gets the BKB reaction out. Yeah, really nicely done by How there. And now OG is going to be a little unsure if they oh, want to proceed. Okay. Newbie's not unsure. Noob, well, like Moo just blinks up on top of the hill, but OG's already backed out. Oh, well, OG can just wait 60 seconds or so. They did lose a nine second BKB, but eight, just about as good. You still have to keep your eyes on the tier four towers. They're going down to the creep waves that are pushing in. Yeah, that, they, they have all the time in the world. They do not have to force this. Like, they're even gonna deny it, and they have to at this point, because the amount of gold that those give is massive. BKB is ready because on bench Chuan now. can't even kill the creep in time. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. But BKB is up on bench. They've got BKBs on three heroes. Only people with no BKB is Crit on the IO and Beastmaster play back. jumps in, goes on No-Tail once more. The Aegis Immortal is still there. Moo gets reeled back, but Hal jumps forward. Fly will put himself in attack. Uh, position. Could he still could his own BKB as well as four staff available. So he wants to force off and not burn his BKB charge. 
very patient. I would have popped my BKB like 25 seconds earlier than that. I was scared the hell out of me. So they still haven't used their BKBs. Nobody died here. Crit's going to be pretty low on regen because of this, which means he can't really give much regen to other people, but they do still have Aegis. No swap for 20. They've got to wait for that minimum. Aegis is only up for another minute and 20 seconds though, but now you get an Aghanim Scepter over on the puck, so, oh boy. Six second coil duration, if they break it, even with Magic Immunity, they get super stunned. But, this is like so early, it's not even good yet, actually, because Newbie doesn't even have a chance to get a BKB. <laughs> So what are you going to do? Your 25k worth of net worth behind. No tell. There's the jump. Chris stays on him. Remember that Aegis still on him for a long, long time. Uh, and now, nice can they find it? No tell will trigger the BKB. They lose the IO. And No tell still hiding in the tree lines, but so is Miracle. He's waiting for his chance to jump. He'll get a three-man coil off. How might be initiating on the back lines? How's and die? now, well, how he is low. He tries to run himself away. The gust from No tell. He keeps the damage flying out. They've already managed to bring down three. The Ravage from Moon doesn't create enough space. Only Moon to die, and Miracle, oh, dead oh there it is, GG, well played, we don't even hit half an hour on this game, OG will take the series 2-1 over what looked to be the invincible Chinese team. They had to hurry the schedule along, man, Epicenter's got a reputation to uphold, we moved the schedule, the crowd is actually completely packed all of a sudden. This, this, this crowd is all about OG, man, they, are, they have been so biased throughout the entire tournament.